this is going to be a quick, quick uh, way to show you how you can, even though we can't actually add favorites yet with uh, our coin op stuff, uh, you can you can set up your folders so that you have it uh, that way. So right now I have two USB drives in here, 64 gig and a 128. The 64 gig has uh, our arcade version four on it, and it also has background folders, music, uh, the pinball games, all that kind of stuff. And then 10 gigabytes I have mounted uh, for for coin ops and for Pixel Kid. Um, so what I did then is on the the second drive. Uh, I set it up the, the old way we used to set it up where you have a, a ROMs folder, you have, um, you know, it's, it's not a UCE folder. It's a, it's ROMs. It's, it's in the build package. So, uh, you know how to do it by, uh, if you know where the source pages are. So in your ROMs folder, let me just load this up in your ROMs folder. When you're adding all your, uh, your, your different systems, um, as long as you don't just drag and drop like they say to do, you just, uh, right under ROMs, you go into that folder and then you make a new folder called Amiga, then Atari uh, 2600 or, you know, whatever, as you say, every system that, that uh, is here. Um, and believe it or not, it, with all, even with all these uh, systems and all, all these games, like I think NES, Genesis, and uh, Super Nintendo ha have uh, have every pretty much every game in the library. So, but um, besides that, so there's still like another forty or something, fifty gigabytes of space left on this. So anyway, so what you do is. In that ROMs folder, uh, like I said, instead of just throwing all your stuff in, the, you set it up, put Game Boy Advance, you know, Game Boy, every every folder that you're going to put the ROMs in, you, you set it up that way. Um, you just create a folder, because when you come down to your the end, you know, your UCE, that's the mounted drive that you have. So if I click on that, there's, let's uh, say there's 165 pages, that's the coin ops arcade uh, version 4 build. So this is where most of our favorite games are, uh, or at least for me. So uh, remember, now those are loaded in here uh, uh, under UCA. So in the in the ROMs folder, on, on the second drive, you just create arcade favorites uh, folder. Uh, it's it's good to call it arcade favorites or start it off with a number so that it's up it's up the to top and it doesn't get buried you know because it goes by alphabetical order and then there you go so these are all the games that I play you know mostly these are all the from the arcade uh, and all I had to do was drag the U UCE fo uh, file into this folder because all the everything's already loaded in. You know what I'm saying? And uh, when you run add on X, it just builds everything up. So everything still works. So these are all, all these games are from, these are all Golden Tee games, um, all the Marvel games, Mortal Kombat's, Metal Slugs, NBA Jams, Rampages, and they're like 15 Street Fighters and stuff. So anyway, they uh, all will just load right here. And all you have to do is uh, is put that folder, put the ROMs in that folder. The UCE fi uh, file. Um, and you just hit the button and it will load like normal. That's the closest thing to, to having a... Uh, a, a favorites folder that we can have right now. So you just create it yourself. It's drag and drop. So I can take this out, put it in the computer. You have my arcade favorites. 
you just got to drag it in and put it in there and it uh, and run add on X and it, it builds the uh, file system for you. Uh, so far, I haven't, haven't had any trouble. Every, uh, every, every game has worked so far. Of course, I, uh, I picked the one game that you, that uses two joysticks <laughs> to control and, uh, move. But as you can see, it, uh, it works fine and emulates fine. And, you know, all the regular buttons uh, work. So until uh, until we could actually hit a favorite thing, that's the quickest way you could uh, you could do it. So that's it. It's that easy. All right. It's Hope it helps. Really